Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review Amanda Richley's new A5 dotted notebook with color edges that was released in late May 2021. So before I begin, I want to clarify that this video is not sponsored. I bought the notebook with my own money as a treat for myself for working hard on my channel for the past few months. And I also want to note that I will be 100% honest in this review. So the color that I chose was sky blue, but the notebook does come in 4 other different colors such as blush pink, lilac, slate grey, and taupe. So the notebook is in the size A5 which is the only available size and it has 160 pages. It has a vegan leather cover with metallic foil embossments of Amanda's doodles on both the front and the back. The doodles on the front and back are the same and they are doodles from her past bullet journal themes and I can see one of my all-time favorite themes of hers which is the Monstera Leaf theme back in March 2020. Now let's take a tour inside the notebook. So we have a very beautiful page filled with Amanda's doodles for us to write down our name. The doodles are exactly the same as the ones on the cover and the back. The pages are white, dotted and they are high quality 160 GSM paper. The dots are 5mm apart and I think they are a bit darker than a notebook from Notebook Therapy. And the pages are numbered so it's easier to fill in the index. And at the back, we have a back pocket to hold loose papers or even stickers if you want. But for me, I don't usually use a back pocket to store my stuffs. Besides all of that, the notebook has a pen loop like the notebooks from Archer and Olive, two bookmarks, and a unique star charm on one of the bookmarks. And lastly, I want to mention that the color of the edges matches the cover of the notebook and it has a lay flat design so it lies flat on your desk. So now let's talk about the price. The Amanda Ridgely A5 dotted notebook costs $26 which is cheaper than an Archer and Olive notebook. But since I live in Malaysia, the shipping fee plus duty fee is already half the price of the notebook which is around $14.47. So in total, it cost me $40.47 for the notebook, which I think is quite expensive. So according to the website Shop Amanda Rich Lee, shipping to the US costs $6, shipping to Canada starts at $11, and international shipping starts at $12, and shipping is free for orders over $100. And you can definitely check out her website for more details on the shipping fee, customs, and import taxes. And yeah, I also want to mention that I was very impressed with the shipping because it was quite fast. I ordered the notebook on the 4th of June and they ship it out on the 5th of June and the notebook arrived on the 11th of June. I think it's pretty fast considering it is an international shipping. So I mentioned that the paper are 160 GSM and they can withstand most pens, markers and even paint. So let's do a pen and paint test. Um, I'm going to test a lot of different pens and markers that I usually use for my bullet journal setup such as my Pigma Micron pens, Unipin Fine Line, Pentel Energel Black Ink Pen, my favorite Tombow Dual Brush Pens, Crayola Super Tips, Mild Liners, Stabilo Swing Cool Highlighter, Tombow for the Nosegay Brush Pen, Pentel Brush Sign Pen, and my Uniball Signal Gold and Silver Pen. In my opinion, I don't think these pens and markers are going to show any bleeding or ghosting but let's see the results later. Besides that, I also tried some metallic markers, Sharpie and alcohol based markers but I think they are going to bleed through as expected. So to conclude, there's no bleeding or ghosting with the pens and markers that I use on the right page but you can definitely see the Sharpie and the alcohol based markers bleed through as expected especially when I apply it to the same area multiple times on the page. Now moving on to our paint test, I don't usually use too much watercolor or gouache in my bullet journal setup but I wanted to show you guys how the papers hold up with these two art mediums. 
For watercolor, I try blending it and making a gradient. And for gouache, I just apply it with a little bit of water. I'm not very good at using gouache and I didn't try using it in my bullet journal before. So don't come for me for my awful painting skills. So to conclude, the watercolor does show some wrinkling, but I don't see any signs of wrinkling for the gouache. Maybe I didn't apply too much water for the gouache, but after a few minutes, the watercolor dry and the wrinkling doesn't seem that apparent anymore. So overall, I'm very happy with the purchase, but I do want to point out some improvements that can be made, such as maybe the notebook can come with a storage box like the ones from Notebook Therapy or Archer and Olive because Personally, I like to store my notebook in my storage box to prevent it from getting dirty. Besides that, I also hope that the notebook can have a more minimal design with just one doodle on the cover instead of having so many of them because some people do like minimal covers, but for me, I'm definitely okay with both. And lastly, I also want to mention that I hope the notebook can come in more sizes like a B5 size or maybe a traveler's notebook size. So I guess that's all for the review but before I end the video, I just want to say that I'm very impressed with the notebook and I'm just so happy that I can finally have a piece of Amanda's beautiful creation as she was the main inspiration for me to start a bullet journal and also a YouTube channel about bullet journaling. And I just really can't wait to use it for the year 2022. And lastly, if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram at Looting Studio. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!